Hi, it's me. It's Alicia. How's it going? So, um, yeah, I'm going to open some new makeup. And first I'll show you my fingernails. This is Hollow Taco. It's like rainbow snow or something. And uh, Matt actually did my nails for me, which is really cute. Also right now, if you can hear it, Cam is chewing on a little like Nyla Bone, like flavored chew toy thing. And I'm not going to take it away because I feel like it's it's nice for her to use her little chew toy. Here we go. Here are some crappy tweezers. So we've got one package from Alter Ego, which I've never tried before. And then the other brand is Colored Rain. And um, I'm actually, we'll start with the Alter Ego package. I'm actually really surprised by how small this box is because I was expecting it to be larger. I got the um, Alter Ego is a brand that makes like dupes of higher end makeup palettes. So I got the dupe, the Artemis palette, which is the dupe for the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. And I also got the one that's supposed to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette, which I don't have. And um, it would be like a cool toned addition to my collection. And because the Metropolis palette I thought was bigger um, than, than this, like I thought it was bigger. So uh, maybe the dupe is like minis, which would make sense because it was closer to like $22 as opposed to the Metro Metropolis palette is like $129. So wow, yeah, it is really, it's not tiny at all, um, but it's, I don't know why I just thought it was going to be bigger. And I'm going to show you the colors and I'm going to show you maybe some swatches. So this one is the dupe for the Sultry palette. Um, this is called the Alter Ego Temptress. And it's, I do have another ABH palette to compare this to right under me. I've got the, um, which one is that? That's. I know what it's called. it's called. It's the one that got a bunch of crap for not being great. Yes, subculture. So here is the ABH subculture palette. And there's the inside, just for a size reference. And then here is the Temptress palette, just for a size comparison, which again is supposed to be similar to the ABH uh, Sultry palette. So let's have a look-see. Oh, interesting. Okay. So there's a mirror and then there is the, the shadow. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's half matte, half shimmery. And I can't compare it to sultry for you because obviously I don't have that. I bought this as an alternative to it. So the ABH palettes are what, like $42? Is that what they usually go for? I haven't purchased one. I bought the ABH Jackie Ina palette and then I resold it. Um, I also bought the Carly Bible palette and I didn't like it and I resold that one. So um, yeah, this actually isn't so I would say like in terms of the actual color tones, let's let's swatch a couple. So this one is Whisper there. And then here's Lust actually looks pretty warm. Uptown looks like a cool taupe. It actually looks more neutral toned there. Like this one, Whisper, looks cool toned. This one looks a little bit more neutral. And then Stiletto is the black. They feel really soft. And then lace is this um, like creamy one here. So let's see what those look like. That's Whisper, Uptown, Stiletto, and Lace are those four. So they actually don't look bad at all. They feel pretty, they feel very soft and smooth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe my fingers on my pants because I can. Um, and that's what's sort of left over on my fingers after swatching those. So really not bad. Um, huh, let's see. And in terms of the shimmers, I'm going to grab 
they actually look pretty similar to each other so like like similar these these four look pretty similar to each other this one looks different this is like more silvery and then that one's more gold tone but let's see how different maybe all five of those are because well this one looks more like a lighter champagne i guess it's these three that really look most similar to me so we're gonna grab mistress ritz and desire And I mean, I can see how they're a little tonally different, but if these shimmers are nice, okay, so they actually feel kind of thin, um, but still creamy. Not as um, thick as the Colored Rain formula, which we're going to see some of those shimmers, but that's a pretty nice amount of shimmer for this palette, which I think cost me like $16 as opposed to the $42 of the actual um, sultry palette so i think this is going to be a good purchase i hope it will because again like i don't i don't wear these kinds of colors a super ton i will go ahead and show you my absolute number one favorite neutral palette ever um see look how nice those still look on my fingers even after swatching them i think that's i don't know hopefully i'm really gonna like that because I have been eyeing the Sultry palette, but I was thinking like it's just too expensive for how infrequently I probably am going to wear those tones. But I did want something in my collection a little bit more cool toned and um, it looked usable for sure. So my number one favorite of all time neutral palette, bar none, is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. It smells delightful. I might have just gotten it on my nose, but I don't know what this blue stuff is that I've got on there, but when I use it, I just tap elsewhere. But yeah, so this one has um, Funny Girl, Firecracker, and Rocker are the three shimmers. The shimmers really aren't anything special, um, but you can see they're sort of more like a mauve toned row, a neutral toned row, and then a cool toned row. All of these shadows smell delightful they blend perfectly for what i need and um you can see even though this is my literal like i've used this so much that it's it's broken i've broken it but it's i believe that this is the best neutral toned neutral palette that i have and it also i like the balance that it's primary it's like 75 percent matte colors and then the remaining 25% is shimmers. And I think that's really nice. Um, this 50-50 split here, I think it's gonna be totally fine. Um, I do, just when I do my eyeshadow, I tend to use more matte colors than I use shimmers, uh, but that doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean that this isn't gonna work out really well. But um, maybe I'll just hold this up so you can compare uh, the tones a little bit. But yeah, this is my favorite. It's just, it's really pleasant to use and you can see kind of the dips that I've got in there. It's not like I've gone in crazy hit pan or anything. Um, I don't wear it a ton, but if I do wear it neutral shadows, this is, this is my number one. And it does go on sale every so often in like the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty or the holiday sales or on Tarte's website. Or on Tarte's website. Um, Cause I think this one is right around $40 as well, but it is, it's the number one neutral palette for me and so i don't of everything that i have on i also have like a ton of neutral single shades um, from different brands but yeah i think this is going to be nice and um, i'm going to leave it out and hopefully get some use out of this little guy uh, those shimmers really do look pretty impressive and so far the formula feels nice um, it feels usable so the other one i got as i mentioned is the Artemis palette and this one is the dupe for the Natasha Denona oh wow this packaging is really nice hopefully you can see the um, it's got like that soft matte kind of a feel but then it's got the slightly raised reflective glossy little Florida whatever that's called so here's the Artemis palette and Yes, these are both dupes, so 
I don't think I've ever really purchased palettes that are meant specifically to be dupes before, but I was definitely not going to spend $129 on this palette. Um, and so the reason I picked this one up was to go with this guy. I wouldn't have just purchased this by itself, but I saw a review, I think from Allie Gines, Glines, Allie, whatever. Um, and she was using this and it looked so beautiful. So this color story was really appealing to me. And, um, if this had been like last year or the year before, I probably would have just gone ahead and purchased this from Natasha Denona. Um, but I'm glad that I didn't. I'm glad that I have this to try. So you can see the color story is very much rich and it looks like it's, it looks like it's going to be a really nice fall palette. So let's swatch a few of these. And which ones do you want to see? I'm kind of interested in like the greens. Um, if you want to see a comparison to, I have, well, I have the gold palette, the Natasha Denona gold palette, and that kind of is really reminiscent of like this half of the palette. I don't know where in my Tosh Tosh Denonos I would have dupes for these guys over here. I'm not really sure. Um, but maybe I won't grab that out because it's in the closet and it would be a whole thing. So anyway, yeah, let's let's swatch a few of these and see what we think. So I'm going to have to do like left hand swatches. So hopefully I don't make this look too stupid. So this one is called Silent and it's like a satiny olive type color. This one is Stealth. I think it's also that sort of satin formula for the green. You can see they're not entirely matte. Then let's get, I want to show you some different stuff. Let's go first for the like greens and blues and then I'll do like the oranges and stuff. This one is Ambush. It's like a deeper teal. Also feels kind of satin. And then let me grab one that's like an actual matte. This one is called Entice. No, no, no. Let's get Hunt because it's warmer and it feels very soft. So those colors to me look very fall. So here's Silent. Then it was, what did I get? Stealth. There's Stealth. Here is Ambush. I really like those three colors together. And then here was Hunt, which is more of like the true matte formula. Whereas the other ones, at least on my finger, looked a little satin. On my hand, they definitely look like they'll function as mattes. So there's those. Um, if you're curious, what I have on my eyes today is a combination of this little Pat McGrath baby. Oh my gosh. Can I open that? This little quad from Pat McGrath. And then um, the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights So Jaded palette. It's the rest of that. So there's those. And then let's go ahead and grab a few of these other like warm colors. So here's Conquer, which is like ruby shimmery. Then let's get Captivate. There's more brownie and satin. It's like a pumpkin kind of color. Here's Stock, which is obviously metallic again. And then here's Snare, which is this like really rich burnt orange matte. Okay, and we'll get those on here too. I'll go back and forth just so I don't go over the other ones. So there you go. Those actually look pretty nice. That red doesn't look too metallic, but the stock shade looks pretty metallic to me. So yeah, those look nice. And again, these leave over a lot of pigment on my fingers. I don't know what that's gonna translate to when I'm actually using them on my eyeballs. But I don't know, I think those look really pretty. So should I do just like a few more of the cooler toned uh, or neutral guys? Let's do that just so we don't have, we've got like a cooler, although those are sort of warm toned like 
that's warm tone and that to me would go well with warm tone but uh, anyway so let's let's grab a couple more so this one is chase here's chase let's grab um, thrill is this guy those are nice and kind of neutral and we'll get um, obscure is here on my wing finger and then um, quiver ooh okay so that's quiver on my pinky and let's get those guys going here see if you would be able to do more of a neutral sort of moment going on with this palette oops okay so those are a bit more neutral leaning trying to I think this palette is going to be pretty versatile but yeah that's the Artemis palette by Alter Ego which is a clear dupe for the Metropolis palette from Tosh Tosh Denono and I've never like I said I've never really purchased dupe palettes before uh, the quality seems really good and I've heard positive things about the brand so I'm I think that it's going to work out well for me. I'm going to go ahead and just put these right under the desk that I do my makeup on. I've got storage right under it so that I can have my makeup close by. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully these are going to be really nice. And um, yeah, interesting. Maybe it'll pair well with this one actually. The, the Artemis palette looks like it might have some complementing stuff to go with the subculture color story i'm not saying there's dupes i'm just saying they look like they would complement each other like this kind of seems subculture kind of seems like a little bit of an extension on top of the artemis palette which is the metropolis color story from tasha so i don't know we'll see fall's coming up soon this to me, this the sultry color story, um, the temptress palette from Alter Ego, does not seem like a fall color story to me. Um, but yeah, anyway, so those are those. And then I'm also going to pull out the colored rain order that I got. Okay, so here's my box from Colored Rain. Cute. Okay, so we've got our tumblers going to be in here. Good girl, Cam. We've got a plastic straw and then the So Juicy Tumbler, excuse me, the Juicy Boost Tumbler, which is just kind of cute. It was like $7, I think, so I will be able to use that, drink some water, call it a day. And then here is the palette. So I'm sure you're familiar, but this comes in two formats. One of them is the like book style. And then this is like the regular traditional long format. The worst sound ever. Yeah, so this is like the regular format flat lay juicy boost palette. So it looks like she slides out. Very pretty packaging. And then inside we've got a big ass book of eyeshadow. Hey, so she's looking really bright and pretty when I okay so when I was trying to decide if I wanted to buy this this row across here was really confusing to me because I didn't understand why there were four of the same color red and I think you can see in this lighting that they're actually not the same color this one is the most deep it's a little bit berry toned red. This one is more like a hot pink. Here we've got a purplish toned, it's called berry beet. And then this one is a more uh, pinky mauve toned, it's cranberry vanilla. And then this one here is a little bit, yeah, that, that looks pretty close um, to the actual, actual color, but it's a little bit more, it's pinky, but maybe a little bit of lavender mixed in there. Um, so they actually do, it does look like it has much better variation in person than the product pictures look to me online. 
And then, so here on this, this row, you've got like this deep, deep green. And then next to it is kind of like a blue. So I wish, I, I don't know if maybe I would prefer that to be a green, but we'll see as I go to use it. Then this one actually is a green. It's called Mint Leaves. It's, it's a pretty muted color. And then Cucumber Avocado is like almost pastel. It's like greenish beigey almost. And then this matte white. That's like a true white. So however that's showing, there you go. Now you can see it is sort of a true white. So here's like a little pastel pale lemon color, a little bit deeper, warmer, a little bit more golden toned, orange, red orange, and then sort of like a brown. Is it brown? It looks brown to me. It looks kind of like a, a ready orangey brown. So yeah, I have heard, <laughs> I read Temptalia's review, Christine from Temptalia. She, I trust her reviews a lot. Um, I read that some of these didn't perform amazing and that the shimmers specifically were kind of harder to work with. And let me just wipe off my swatches from the little sultry dupe and we'll, we'll swatch them. Um, I do have some other colored rain palettes, uh, like the Queen of Hearts palette and the Safari rain palette. And I will say I, they are slightly like thicker, creamier mattes. I'm not sure. Let's, let's just stick our fingers in there. Wow. That's a lot of pigment to come up. So that's blueberry burst. Here's sweet Ruby. It feels a little bit gritty, uh, doing that little swatch. And then this last one is lemon wheatgrass, which also lemon wheatgrass feels really thick and similar to maybe what I would find in one of the, um, other palettes that I have. So let's see what they look like on. And I don't recall whether, I feel like Christine does try to, if, you know, if she feels like something applies better with um, her fingers than a brush, I think she does mention that. The swatches obviously are really beautiful um, and don't look, to me at least, those don't look problematic. They look beautiful. So let me, again, that's what's left on my little fingies after doing my swatches. Let me grab the um, let me grab the Queen of Hearts or the Safari Rain from under here and see if we can compare the little formulas. So here's here's the Queen of Hearts palette, and I know that the formula I know that the colors aren't going to be on, but we can at least check the formula for the for the shimmers in here and see what they compare like. Um, let's grab, I don't know, I guess we'll do three, Crown, Royal Highness, and Noble Woman. That's what they look like. Crown, obviously, if you can see the texture on there, looks kind of like flakier, but the Noble Woman here looks way more smooth. So let's, doesn't really hit with that same level of shine, I don't think. This one here, crown, doesn't have the same level of shine. This one was uh, Royal Highness. I kind of think these new ones are more shiny, but I don't know. And then there's uh, Noble Woman, which I would say they feel like a different formula. I would say these these really shiny ones from the new Juicy Boost palette pack more shine. And I'm just trying to like give you as much of an idea of how they reflect as possible. Um, and those are again what the swatches look like on my fingers. And now it makes me want to find Safari Rain and see if I can compare that but I'm not sure if I have that one out or if it's in my little closet over here. Um, yes, I do. Okay, so here's Safari Rain. And we'll compare three of the shimmers in here as well. Um, 
yeah, looking at my hand, these the pink, blue, and yellow look way more shiny to my bare eyeballs. Uh, let's get Toucan. There's Toucan. Let's get Lioness. Lioness feels like really soft and maybe more similar to um, lemon wheatgrass. And then we'll grab also um, Green Valley, which is the center one, which feels more firmly pressed and less, less similar. Um, okay, and then we'll put them right here. So that one right there next to the blue. So you can see the pigment really is like, it's there. And then there's, look at those like flakes of pigment. So a very like flaky formula, but if you massage it in, it, it's just like really got some crazy shine. And then here's the last one, that green guy. So I don't know, I think these new ones sort of hit different. I think they're a little bit extra, like extra shiny. Although that, that like center one here, what color is that? That was uh, Lioness. That's Toucan, Lioness, and Green Valley. I think that Lioness shade it really seems to come close with that just like straight up reflective quality. I don't know. What do you think? Let's uh, put them, and then again, there's it's so much is left. I'm just gonna me use the tissue instead of being an animal on my clothing and let's do them side by side because the color is not the same but but let's just put them on my finger so you can you can try to see it that way so on my pointer finger is lemon wheat grass from the juicy boost palette and then right next to that we'll grab lioness here which also feels like really soft and flaky. So I don't know if you'll be able to sort of pick up on any differences there. I'm not saying they're like dupes or anything. I just feel like the formula is more similar. They're sort of like looser pressed, really creamy and sort of thick and a little bit emollient, but also just like soft. So let's like Like there's, oh my gosh, there's just so much. Like look how that could just go on for days and days and days. Like that's crazy. You don't, like when are you ever gonna need that much pigment on your eyelid? And then here's the uh, lemon wheat grass. It's, it's actually thinner. It actually feels thinner. So I don't know. I think this formula is just like, I don't know. I think that's stunning. I think they're really pretty. Um, and again, you know, Christine from Temptalia has a specific way she applies eyeshadows. I think she's really talented with what she does. Um, but it might be very different than how I, you know, personally apply my shadows. So even if she gives something like a B, rating on it, you know, an A through F scale, there's still a chance that I might really love it and it might perform like an A for me. Um, so I'm not necessarily going to hold her rating against the palette. Um, I think that these colors are definitely appealing to me and they look beautiful and cohesive. I think the way I envision using this Interestingly, when, when they advertise the palette online, it's right, it's that side and then that side um, for the, the book format. But the way I see using this is more like this, let me bend that back, this entire column, this entire column, and this entire column would give you like, here's your orange eye. You can build up your crease and your transition and everything with this row, these colors inner corner sort of shade, including this one, um, for my, for my skin tone, I'm not speaking for everybody, but to me, that's sort of more how I would envision using this is like, 
I'm gonna do a blue look, I'm gonna do a pink look, or I'm gonna do sort of this like yellowy look. And would I like mix them? Absolutely, I would for sure mix them. I would definitely do like the greens and oranges together. I would do the oranges and the pinks together. I, you know, I think it would be good for that too. But the way it was split with like this side and then this side, I just didn't really see that as much as I would have seen doing it like all of these, all of these, and all of these. So this format made more sense to me than the book because of that, because it, it would basically just split up the pinks and split up the blues and split up the oranges, excuse me, the greens. So yeah, that's, that's what I got. And I'm pretty excited. This looks super beautiful and um, happy to have it, happy to play with it. This Safari Rain also looks like it would just go really well with, you know, these more like fall colors. This is just like a more petite condensed version of what you could probably get out of that um, Metropolis color story or the Artemis palette from Alter Ego. So that's what I got. Hope you liked it. I always love having swatches all over me because that's it's just like the colors that it just feels good. The color just feels good. So thanks for hanging out and I'll see you next time. Bye.